Okay, YouTubers, here we go is a new test. We have an 18-inch disc, a 9-inch rotor, and a 12-inch disc sandwiched at, let's see, uh, read that? It's hard to read. It's dark in here. All right, so we're at about four centimeters apart it's about in the middle it's as close as i can get it um so that this is like i said a nine inch rotor and i'm going to turn up the voltage and we're going to watch the weight on the scale keep in mind that vibrations um make the scale inaccurate but the vibration's not too bad I think what we're going to see is mostly from vibration, though. There's hit a resonance of vibration. Note this nine inch disc does not sing with those high-pitched notes like the six-inch disc. A little bit, but I can't get it to resonate like the other one. See, it's, it's vibrating, and that's from vibration. This is smoke. See, there's not much draw, but it's, it is pulling air in under the top disc. You can see, I think you can see. It drawing air in, and then as I get down above the other disc, it's pushing air out. So it's drawing air in here and then pushing it out. So there must be some vortex going on in here. And see. In there, I can't really see nothing. The smoke isn't thick enough. But if I tap like ashes in there, eh, I can't get it right now. <laughs> Give it a minute. But I put put ashes in there and you don't see any, any motion hardly. Anyway, what you're seeing here about 0.25 grams, it, it's not real. At least I don't think it is. And I have a differential amplifier board right here that I'm gonna hook up to these wires that come off the load cell. And then I'm gonna look at it with my oscilloscope. But for right now, I haven't got that far yet. So with this, you see there's not really anything i would expect some lift simply because of the bernoulli equation i have air moving quickly above here and not underneath you can see underneath here the air is moving really slow and out here at the edge it's being shot outward so the air has got to be moving pretty quickly above this disc but it's not causing any lift. I'm gonna have to talk to Bernoulli about that. Um, it doesn't have a Kawanda effect because there's no curved surfaces. And if I don't have any resonance, then my surfaces aren't gonna deform as one of the hypothesis, hypotheses is that when it resonates, the metal deforms and gives the flat surface an angle of attack, which then generates lift. A little pressure drag and it pulls it up. But we're not seeing that. Now, if I put this plate above it and hold it, I see lift. But it's because it's pulling against my hand. When I attach it together, that goes away. So... And you can see the vibration here. I mean, it's 
it's vibrating and that's why that's that's just me anyway I'm not seeing any lift from spinning a disc and generating airflow Stay tuned for more experiments. I have yet to do ultrasonics or electromagnetism. I'm just checking the aerodynamic hypothesis at the moment. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.